guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new um i do all things cash stuffing um i do budgeting savings challenges in a way of trying to give myself a bit more financial control and try and stop some serious overspending right so today i am just going to be emptying my purse um, and if I get a chance, I'll do my savings trackers. I don't want it to be too long. But if not, I will see how much I have saved in my next video. Let's have a look at where we are. I apologise again, which I always do, is because the sun comes out, goes back, comes out, goes back. And I don't have any curtains in my conservatory. So you might get lines, but hopefully you can still see when I write. So let's first of all clear off my purse. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys are on my Instagram, um, I'll put it in the descriptions. Oh my God, my, Lord, my next door neighbour has decided to cut their grass. I do not have time to be recording later or when he decides to finish, so I apologise for that too. So if you saw my last video, I was in an RN to treat myself to a Molden mini or a Molden pocket. Um, Filofax, like it's like a small binder, it's not like a zip around purse. So then I can have something smaller ready for my um, my changing bag when little one comes. Anyway, they are. I did after looking at all the measurements, I would have needed the pocket um, because I wouldn't have been able to put little zippers. So like the A7 version of these in it. So the pocket is £97, I think it was, on a file of facts. And then there's some offers on colours that I didn't really want in other shops that were like £70 or pound, which is just way too expensive for it, for what I was getting for it. But I managed to find someone, an outlet, like office outlet um, company on eBay, selling them for £39.99 on a sale. So I have treated myself to one of those and they'll be coming soon so this week will be the hopefully the last week i use my per, my pink purse for now and this will be put away um i don't know if i'm going to keep it um, i'm not sure but i will for now have a think about if i'm going to keep it or if i'm going to sell it i just want to see how i get on with the smaller one first but anyway my little story is that's coming i'm so excited because i'm changing up all my binders to make them a bit more relevant to the change my life change that I'm having and um, I want them to actually work properly and it's a great thing about cash stuffing it's your budget you change it and make it relevant to you and what's happening in your life so yeah so I'm going to be doing that and sorting out my purses my new purse soon but anyway let's quickly close this one off so food which oh my god I can't believe the excitement I have had <laughs> about this so if you are new or if you didn't know Every month, at the end of the month, um, if I've got any money left over in my food wallet, I put them in these little envelopes. So this month is the last month, about to fit, fill in the last one. So I have 12 envelopes to open, which I will do in another video. Um, I can't remember how much is in there because I don't document it. Whatever I've got left, I just pop in there. So yeah, this is the last one. And um, this money is going towards mine and my partner's baby moon should we class it as our little holiday before baby comes for our anniversary around my birthday time it's just end of summer part um holiday so yes yeah, so this is going towards that so i'm hoping we haven't we have enough really to cover our apartment we've got 100 pounds in the joint binder for our anniversary meal and our apartment is 450 pounds so if we've got roughly that that means that our whole trip is paid for um minus petrol and um a bit of shopping and stuff for the week uh, the weekend that we're there but even if it's not whatever it is that will whatever is in here to help us towards it is fantastic so apologize if i can't get my words out today sorry for the noise um i haven't i didn't sleep well last night and I feel like I'm a little bit all over the shop. <laughs> right, anyway, so this is the last one we're doing. These are the other 12, which I will open in a different video later. My partner's at, like, he doesn't really, not that he doesn't care, but he doesn't really pay any much attention to my cash stuff or anything like that. He's like, whatever makes you happy, darling. Um, so 
he's actually been excited he's like are you finishing your last envelope this time and I was like yeah and he was like oh we're gonna get to see how much is in there like he's actually been paying attention to this one and um so I'm really really excited <laughs> to share with him how much we have how much I have saved in it so yeah <laughs> just gotta tell you that right so I do need to change up some of these coins um we will see anyway 2040 45, that's nine, 20, 40, 60, 80, one. So uh, 20, 40, 6, oh, 20, 40, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10. So we've got 55 there. And then this change, I'm starting um, the change part of the food. I bought this. Oh, one second. I bought this from Home Bargains. So I'm going to leave this change and put it in here on a different penny saving challenge. I'm going to just print, print out a sticker, stick it out on here, and then we'll mark it and fill it up um, in here. Whichever stuff in I do. So um, I'm going to leave this change to go in here after. Um, I might swap it out to like 50s and stuff. I'm not sure how I want to do that one if I want to do like a 50s or whatever because it's quite a biggish tin so I should be able to fit a good amount in it. So let me just put this back in the jar and sort this out later and I figured that out. So I'm just going to quickly change this over for a £10 note and then we can get cracking. Okay, so ten pound note. So fifty five to go into my last one. Which means it is now time to make these. I'm having a day of sorting, so I've just organised my life is the goal of the day. Um so I feel like I've got myself a plan for today and just want to get bloody lawnmower. I just want to get everything done. So I've got a couple of videos to record after this one. Um, I've got orders to get out, I've got things to make for my new binders. Um, I've got the envelopes to make and record. I've organized how to show you that. I want some new envelopes for a 26 week challenge. So I've got all of these things to create today. So I'm really looking forward to that, but I did it. 12 of them fully funded had no clue what is in there so excited to share this with you it'll just be a small one and also i've planned um my thousand subscriber giveaway um so i've just got to tr cut that up and do it and then that'll be another video maybe i'll do the undoing of these with the giveaway in one video yes let's do that one so anyway that's that done sorry lots of lots of chatting today so that's food empty, petrol's empty. My partner's actually just put petrol in my car, bless him. Um, he's been using it to go to the tip because he's got a work car and he doesn't want to ruin a really expensive car. <laughs> so um, he's been just using mine and he cleaned it and then he put petrol in it, bless him. So I might not need that much petrol, but I'll just unstuff it next week if I don't need it. So I've got a little bit of spending. Oops. And a little bit of eating out. Um, baby, I'm going to take it out of here now. So baby isn't having anything this month because we went to Mamas and Papas and ordered our pram, like travel set system, which my partner's mum paid for, which was very lovely of her. So we're very, very grateful for that. It's a massive expense. Um, obviously, I could get a second-hand one, which I probably would have. Um, I offered... I said to her, I'll just get a second hand one. And she was like, no, get a new one. So, um, you know, that's what we did. So that's that done. But while we were there, there was an offer on a car seat that I've been looking at. Um, it was down from like £400 to £220. Um, and there was another sale on for like 30% off of like the bottles and stuff. So we actually bought quite a few bits on there. It's on my credit card. And what we're doing is out of our joint account, we're going to pay half of it this month and half it next month to pay my credit card off. So baby's not getting any more money in there for the next two months because we paid it 
we boil it all already. Um, so now I'm down to just the smaller parts. Um, we also bought on my credit card, which we need to pay back out of those two payments, um, all of the decorating stuff for baby's room. So that will be um, done hopefully this week. Depends on how I feel. My other half's away again. So yeah, that'll probably be done this week. And then, yeah, everything else is on my wish list, wish list for my baby shower. And if, you know, people don't buy it, because I don't have to, obviously. If I don't receive it on my, as a baby shower gift, then um, in September, I'm having another bonus from work. Um, I'm very, very lucky that we get these bonuses. Um, so that bonus I'm going to use to get the last of the baby stuff. I think it's quite a large bonus, so we shall see. Anyway, so that's baby. I'll put that away in a minute. And we're all emptied out. Let me just check because sometimes if I'm in a rush and I can't get these open because these zipper things keep breaking, I put some in here, but I didn't. No. Anyway, purse is emptied. So let's put this in. Let's do one rainy day because we've got some change for once. Um, and then I'll put the rest in the penny saving challenge. So £2.50. And in here I've now got 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 67, 50 which means I've got five, 10, 15, 20 pounds left and the rainy day is fully funded. Um, I think I might put this in the emergency fund. Um, yes, because I need, I want that one at 500 pounds. I think it's at 400 right now. So that change is, I just, that's the 10 pound I just took from here and put the change in, which I've put in the envelope. So I'll sort that out after. So we have got five, Um, six, I don't know why I'm using this. <laughs> five, six, fifty, six, seventy, six, seventy two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seventy. Oh, I do need this. <laughs> six, um, seventy two, four, seven. Right. Six, seventy seven. Purple. Oh my God, this light is annoying. I'm so looking forward to the garden house studio thing that gets built in the new year. My other half is working so hard, bless him, in getting the groundwork done. Um, he looks so exhausted. Um, right, let's do the 287. 287 minus 280, oops, 285, one pound five. I don't have one pound five. So what I'll do is I'll do the 284 instead. Um, let me get it off. Yeah, I'll do the 284 instead and then do the 106. So let's make sure that adds up. So 287 plus 284 plus the 106. Yeah, brilliant. Three more boxes. I need this bad boy done. Right. So I will put all this change away off camera. Right. What I might do, because video's actually got a bit long, is I might keep, leave that video for now. It's emptying out my purse for the end of July. Um, and then I'll do the, um, how much I have saved in the next one. So thank you all for following. I'm so excited to empty those. Um, it's a really quick one, but to empty those envelopes with you um, and share how I make them. Obviously, I make them on a Cricut machine, which means if you were to make them, you would require a Cricut machine. Um, but I'll see if there is a way I can kind of show you the dimensions. So maybe you could draw it out and make them yourself. Um, yeah, I'll try that as well. But yeah, I'll do that with you. And I will speak to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.